What's up YouTube? Welcome to PhD and Waves. In today's video, I'm going to go over a quick wash and style method. If you don't know what the wash and style method is, it's a quick way in order to lay your curls down and it's a very fast way for you to get waves. Also, it's the best way that you should be washing your waves because it keeps your hair laid down during the full washing process so your hair doesn't frizz up. Also, if you're doing a heavy wolf, you should also be doing the wash and style method because it's the best way in order to lay your waves completely down. All right, so I'm gonna get right into the wash and style method. I'm gonna go over all the steps that you need to know. So let's get right into it. All right, before I wash my hair, this is what my waves are looking like. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna lift up your hair, comb your hair out so it's easier to get to your scalp. So let's do it. All right, so my hair is all combed out. After that, I'm just gonna do the first rinse and the first wash. All right, so my hair is wet now. I'm just gonna add some shampoo. On the first wash, there's not gonna be that much lather because your hair is gonna be dirty, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you're getting deep into your scalp. Make sure you're washing your whole scalp. All right, now I'm gonna rinse out this shampoo out of my hair and I'm gonna do another wash. All right, so I just rinsed the shampoo out of my hair. Now I'm gonna do another wash. So I'm gonna add more shampoo to my hair and you're gonna see more lather on the second wash because my hair is cleaner. All right, so this is the second wash. Depending on how dirty your hair is, you could do two to three washes. I'm gonna rinse my hair again and do another wash. So it just depends on how dirty your hair is. All right, YouTube, so I just rinsed out my hair. This is gonna be my third and last wash. So I'm gonna get some shampoo. I just like to make sure that my hair is extra clean so I can get a thick lather for my washing style. All right, so now that I have a thick lather in my hair, what I do is I get a detangling brush. This is actually on my website at phdandwaves.com. So I get my detangling brush and I just detangle my hair just to get all the knots out, all the knots and the tangles out and to lay my hair down a little bit. Also, don't forget about your crown area. Once your hair is all detangled and laid down a little bit, what you wanna do is you wanna get a brush. Depending on how long your hair is, you're either gonna use a hard, a medium, or a soft brush. I like using a medium to hard brush because I do have a good amount of hair, but if your hair is shorter, use a soft brush so you don't mess up your scalp. So right now I'm just gonna get into a brush session with the lather still in my hair. You wanna get a brush session with the lather so your hair can remain laid down. don't forget about your crown area. Make sure your crown area is laid down and in place while you're doing the wash and style method. That's very important. All right, so after you get in a brush session with your brush and you could see everything is laid down and you could see your waves. So you notice how you could see my waves. When you get to that point, basically you wanna get a thick lather and you wanna lay everything all the way down. So I'm gonna get my shampoo, I'm gonna get more shampoo and I'm gonna create a thick lather. Like this, create a thick lather and lay everything all the way down. So notice how I have a lot of lather. Your hair basically wants to be white. I'm 
gonna get a little bit more shampoo just to make sure everything is laid down. All right, so once you have everything laid down and you have a lot of lather in your hair, you wanna grab a do-rag. Grab your do-rag and put it on over the shampoo. You wanna keep the shampoo in your hair. So be careful so you don't mess your hair up and put your do-rag on carefully. You wanna make sure it's nice and secured, but don't make it too tight to crush your waves. You just wanna make sure it's secured. I like to double knot the back so I make sure it doesn't fall off. And make sure the tail is pulled just so everything is nice and secured. All right, my do-rag is on with the shampoo in there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna rinse your hair out with the do-rag on. You could either do it in the sink or you could do it in the shower. And while you're rinsing your hair out, you wanna use cold water, not freezing cold, but use cold wa water. Don't use hot or warm water. Use slightly cold water, but it doesn't have to be freezing. And you wanna rinse all the shampoo out of your hair with your do-rag still on. So let's do it. All right, so I just rinsed out all the shampoo out of my hair with cold water. All I'm doing now is I'm patting my hair dry with a towel just to get the excess water. All right, YouTube, so this is probably the most important step. I just rinsed out all the shampoo. Now what you wanna do is you wanna keep your do-rag on and you wanna make sure your hair is 100% dry before you take off your do-rag. A lot of people message me and I see your comments. You guys are saying that this method isn't working. It's probably because you take off your do-rag before your hair is 100% dry. You don't want a single drop in your hair. You wanna make sure your hair is 1,000% dry before you take off your do-rag. So just be patient. So now I'm just gonna wait until my hair is 100% dry and I'm gonna show you guys the full results of the washing style method. So see you guys in a few. All right, YouTube, so my hair is 100% dry, so I'm gonna show you guys the results of the wash and style method. Make sure your hair is 1,000% dry before you take off your do-rag. But with that being said, let me show you guys the results. Woo, oh my God. Wow, my hair is super laid right now. Oh my gosh. That wash and style is no joke. These are the results you could get with the wash and style method. That's why I love the wash and style method. The wash and style method is perfect to get your waves started. It's the best way to wash your 360 waves. And also if you wanna lay down your wolf, you guys saw how much hair I had. I laid down all that wolf with the wash and style method. But yeah, YouTube, that's pretty much the whole video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Make sure to follow PhD and Waves on all social media platforms. But with that being said, I did wanna make this video super quick just so you guys can know how to do the wash and style method. I'll see you guys in the next video.